title of this vlog you must have seen nigerian street food just street food and a week of street foods like you must have seen food in the title and that's because today we are going to be not today but for a week or for some days we are going to be exploring street foods in nigeria or street foods in just to be precise and for those of you who do not know what street food is but i think everybody knows what street food is street foods are foods that are literally prepared on the street like in the kiosk on the road your suya man is a street food seller you know your food prepared on the street and i'm going to be going to the streets to explore different types of street food I'm going to be focusing on just street food because not all street foods are found everywhere so I'm going to start with the ones that are mostly found here in Joss and also probably not only in Joss mostly northern states in Nigeria but along the way we're going to taste we're going to buy lots and lots of street food and yes you guys let's get right into the video our number one street food we are going to be exploring today is going to be masa or the you can call it nobody calls it rice cake but it's literally like rice cake and masa is not only found in nigeria there are different types of masa but the one we are going to be trying today is the alsa masa and luckily for us there is literally a woman that sells masa at my junction here where i live so we are not going to be going too far but i feel like every street has a masa woman that sells masa literally everywhere but for somebody that lives in benin city you you will not see anybody like that like i don't think for the years i have stayed in benin I saw anybody selling masa like the way you will see the here in Jaws. So yes, we are going to be going there now to buy some masa with the sauce. You can see I am back home and I am with the Masa and this is it I got this for 200 Naira with a free soup you can either choose from the soup or the Yaji I think everybody knows what Yaji is but in case you do not know what Yaji is I like to call Yaji sweet pepper because it's just not only pepper most of the times it's like pepper mixed with other spices so it has a very nice taste but then it's not all that peppery but whatever so i have this soup this soup doesn't really look all that special it's just like a goosey soup without the goosey inside if you get what i'm saying but it tastes nice I'm going to pour this inside my plate you guys are not seeing my plate but there's a plate here and i Ooh. and the soup I've seen this but this is how it looks oh, I, I, I. now it's time for a taste test we're gonna taste this masa with the sauce yeah but anyways not for a taste test and i've literally eaten masa many times i don't even want to do a taste test but for the sake of you guys i'm just going to show myself in a so it's not really like oh my gosh she's buying something and she's not eating it like what's going on no i'm gonna eat it mm. i like it like i've always loved masa i love masa and I'm not going to actually be eating street foods that 
I'm not going to be showing street foods I don't eat. So all the street foods I'm going to share with you guys are the ones I can eat because there are many I cannot eat. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very nice breakfast and it's very good if you're in a rush. I usually buy masa sometimes if I'm late to school and I'm hungry. I would just like stop by and buy masa shop shop and run to school and eat it while lecture is going on. <laughs> I'm guilty. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this with a very nice movie. This is my breakfast and right now I'm going to watch a cartoon on my laptop and I will see you guys later. vlog from today today is tuesday and our street food number two is going to be kunugeda if i am pronouncing it correctly but i like to call it rice pap literally because it has rice inside it has groundnuts inside and probably other ingredients that i do not know of but yeah that is going to be our street food number two and this is it yeah, this is it and i really like it personally i like it because it doesn't you can take it without sugar you can take it without milk you can literally just take it as it is like okay so now it's time for a taste test yeah, it's time for a taste test it has chunks of rice inside that's why i like it like the rice is fun to chew that's one thing i know like the rice is so fun to chew mm. Mm. Now for our street food number three is going to be a mix of just street food and Nigerian street food and I will start with the just street food. So um, this particular one has a backstory because my name is Nunu, my name is Nunu, N-U-N-U, -N -U. it's my family name, it's my father's name, it's my great grandfather's name. But here in Nigeria. The northern people see Nunu as something very different and I don't think it's a name they will want a man to give his family but anyways that's how it is so my name is Nunu and here Nunu means something like breast milk or milk but we all know where milk comes out from the breast of a human or an animal so yeah Nunu gives the impression of breast milk here or milk in general if I'm correct and anytime I tell people my son name is Nunu or my name is Nunu Buki, they are like, eh? My name is Nunu? Like Nunu, like Nunu, Nunu, breast milk. <laughs> Whatever. So for our Nigerian street food, is not other than our popular puff puff. Like I got this. So um, obviously, you cannot eat this one alone and be. Full. so i decided to get this along just as a quick breakfast brunch because i've not eaten breakfast and i've not eaten lunch so it's like brunch yeah anyways this is our nigerian street food i don't have to explain what this is we all know puff puff like it's everywhere not only in nigeria so like we all know puff puff and i've already taken a bite out of this one because i was so hungry yeah so I'm not really going to do a taste test for puff puff because no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So now it's time for a taste test. Yay. So yeah, it's in the bowl. This 
it looks like the pap rice, the rice pap of like our street food number two was kunugeda, which was rice pap. That's how it looks like, but it's not. So, 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 it's time to taste this thing. <sighs> So this is fermented milk, so it is sour at first, then the sugar kicks in and it makes it sweet. So it's a sour and a sweet taste. So this one was like one of my favorite street foods when I first landed in just as a hundred level student. This was one of my favorite because it's nice, it's cheap, it's nice and cheap. So yeah, this is street food number three. what's up my lovely youtube friend so i'm going to be ending this our street food haul with our street food number four our street food number four is like like what is a just street food without awara please like what like what all right the way you see akara everywhere on the streets is the same way you see awara everywhere on the streets and for those of you who do not know what our is or for those of you who don't know like what she's saying our is basically soya bean curd that is either boiled or fried but in this case it's mostly fried or the ones i've eaten they are mostly fried and you can also call it tofu it's also called tofu like i think awara is just the northern name like it's mostly found in the northern side of nigeria so it's actually the northern name given to tofu like awara and it's also eaten by like i think most asian countries also eat awara because it's tofu like it's not only in nigerian delicacy or in northern nigerian delicacy so yes that is going to be our street food number four and that is what will be closing the street food oh so, yeah because of the rain i could not really vlog but i ended up buying little hour because the seller was almost out of our and i did not really feel like buying much anymore but this is how it looks like it comes in little cubes and you can see me doing a little taste test mm -hmm. so yeah you guys that's all and i also got corn i got boiled corn because it's the season of boiled corn watched my video till the end thank you so very 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 much thank you and please like this video comment down below what your favorite street food is or the street food you would like to try from my video and also please subscribe to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber or if you're a new viewer thank you so very much my name is Nunubuki and this is my youtube channel feel free to watch my previous videos and i will see you guys in my next video